Hi, I'm Linda from Arts and Minds Network. Uh, we're a network of people in Leeds who believe creativity is really good for your mental health. Um, a lot of you may not have done create anything creative for ages, but this is a real, really good chance to have a dabble. You don't have to be creative as in done it recently. It's just a chance to try out some new ideas. And they're all really easy. And we've got some fantastic artists and network who are going to make it fun for you. So it's just about having a go. Um, and today we want to introduce some of the artists that, that will be running the sessions with you. So when you come along, you've got a familiar face. So it's a bit less scary. So, so well done for taking the first step of having a go. And you'll be meeting in the first session, Ruth and Nicola. Um, so Ruth, do you want to tell us a bit about what you'll be doing? Hi there, my name's Ruth and I'll be working with Nicola and we'll be making some concertina books. So I brought along an example so you can have a look what it would look like. And this opens up almost like a hand organ. Um, that's something that we'll be making around the theme of positivity and it's something where you can find all bits and pieces that are at home, things that come through the mail, anything that's laying around the house and um, bits of material, string, anything that you can think of and you can make up collage bits or do some sewing as I'll show you in an example here. This was one that I've done previously for my the birth of my daughter. And you can see some sewing bits in there, some collage, some drawing that I've done behind. It's a whole mixture of creativity. And I wanted to share this because this is something that helps my mental health and takes my mind off things. So I'll hand you over to Nicola. Thanks Ruth, that's beautiful, beautiful book. Hi, I'm Nicola. Um, uh, as we said, we're going to be making some concertina books. Um, I'm a volunteer at Arts and Minds and Recovery College, and I really love making things alongside other people. I find that um, making is something that calms me down and takes my mind off things. And it's really lovely to do that alongside other people. So we're looking forward to, to meeting you when you join our course. Great, thanks. And then uh, Emma, we'll be doing the, the session after that. So do you want to tell us a bit about what you're doing, Emma? Yeah, hello, I'm Emma. Um, in my workshop, we'll be making paper positivity ornaments like these. Um, the bauble has six little windows um, that we are going to fill with six unique to you designs that help you feel good and remind you of what gives you purpose and peace. It'll be up to you whether you design with words, phrases, drawings, magazine cutouts, blocks of colour, patterns, photographs, so long as the messages say what they need to do for you. It might be useful to bring some ideas to the workshop of what brings positivity or hope into your life. But if you're really struggling doing that, don't worry. I'll be there to help on the day with message ideas as well as the crafting. So I look forward to seeing you there. Great. Can't wait. <laughs> OK, and then Alison, do you want to tell us a bit about what you'll be doing? Hi, I'm Alison, a rubbish artist. I hate waste in any way, shape or form. So I'm going to teach you how to take your old carrier bags that might have the handles bust and make what's called plan, plastic yarn. Once you've made this, you can do all sorts of crafts. You can make pom-poms, which we are going to be doing, which are really easy and fun to do and really quick. And anybody can do them. They're fantastic. If you've got bigger skills than that, I can show you um, things that you can do knit crochet make baskets make bags all you need to do this is a pair of scissors your old carrier bag and some string it's really easy it's lots of fun and all you need to bring along are these and a whole heap of imagination i'll see you there sounds great I, I, i'm really looking forward to all of these myself I tell you. <laughs> and uh hayley do you want to tell us a bit about what you'll be offering Hi, my name's Hayley. I'm an artist based in Yorkshire and I do quite a bit of work with Arts and Minds Network. And what I'm going to be doing is a few still life drawing techniques. So we're going to be looking at things like collage using different papers to uh, create a surface that we can draw on. We're also going to be looking at a technique called continuous line where we don't take our pen off the paper while we're drawing. And finally, we're going to be 
exploring negative space drawing, where we actually draw the things that are around an object. So all you're going to need is some pens, pencils, different types of paper that you might have laying around. It doesn't have to be anything fancy and something from around your house that you can draw. So it could be anything from kitchen utensils to a plant. And I'm hoping that I'm going to take a little bit of the scariness out of doing some life, uh, some still life drawing. And I can't wait to see you all in the class. Great. Thanks, Hayley. And last but by no means least, Lorna. Hello, my name's Lorna. I'm an artist based in Leeds, um, mostly making illustration and working with paper. Uh, for my workshop, you'll just need some scissors and paper and we're going to um, play and build with different structures and see what forms we can make out of paper. I have used uh, some old drawings that I didn't want to keep to test uh, a few techniques that we could use, but hopefully we'll come up with lots of different methods together. And if you don't have some drawings you want to recycle, uh, you could use some junk mail that's come through the post, because uh, often they can have some really nice different colours and things on it. Um, and it's a shame just to put it straight in the recycling. So if you'd like to reuse anything like that, you can use any kind of paper at all. Uh, looking forward to seeing you. Great. Well, I hope that's enticed you to come and join the course. And we look forward to welcoming you to it and uh, having fun with you. So hopefully see you soon. You can come to one of these sessions or all of them. Um, but we hope you come to one and want to do more. So look forward to seeing you soon. OK, and then Sandy. Hi. My name's Sandy and I'm going to show you how to make paper beads that you can string and wear. And all you'll need for my session is any old wrapping paper, scrap bits of paper, magazines or flyers that come through the letterbox, a pair of scissors, something to wind or wrap the paper around to form the beads. So that could be an old knitting needle, a garden cane, plant cane, a barbecue skewer or toothpick, some glue, either a glue stick or PVA glue, anything like that, and a pencil and a ruler if you have them. I'd love you to join me. It's really, really easy. If you can fold and wrap paper, then you can make beads. Look forward to seeing you. Great. Thanks, Sandy. Bye.